Hey everyone, I am sitting here with Stan and Marnie Marinesen, and we are in the Netherlands, yeah. and you guys are pastoring here and have been for quite a while. Quite a while. So, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, we came here at the end of 1993 as the sole purpose of uh, putting Calvary Chapel on the map. We wanted to pioneer work, put Calvary Chapel, or you know, plant a Calvary Chapel. Yeah. And from that single Calvary Chapel that we uh, were going to plant, we were hoping to establish a base, and then from there equip disciples and you know send out more people to plant more Calvary Chapels in Holland. Yeah. And that and that's still the vision. That's still the vision. It's been the vision from the get go. And my my dream is to see twenty five Calvary Chapels planted here in yeah. Holland. Yeah. But it hasn't been as easy as one would have hoped. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we um, we've been here 20, almost twenty six years. Yeah, and up until May of this year, we were the only Calvary Chapel in the Netherlands. Yeah, um, and in uh, May of this year, May twelfth, uh, twenty nineteen, we grew a hundred percent, and there are now two Calvary two Chapels. Calvary yeah. chapels yeah. <laughs> and of course, I've been with you. Over right. the weekend, and we yeah. had a great little men's retreat, and the other Calvary Chapel joined us. Yes. And although, you know, I mean, things are small, relatively right. speaking, right? Right. Um, you know, I think that verse in scripture that says, do not despise the day of small things. Right. right. Because you got to start somewhere. Right. And what a lot of people don't realize is that, um, you know, outside certain places in the United States, and even in the U.S., you know, the ground is, is hard. Mm -hmm. And it, particularly in Europe. Mm -hmm. And Holland, I think. Right. Yeah. So, you guys um, have been faithful. You've been through all different kinds of seasons. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say that I'm super excited by what I experienced this weekend with the men's retreat. Right. And then, of course, getting to share with the congregation today. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a sense that God is on the move, right. and yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And so we're super proud of you. You, you hung in there, <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> and you're committed to continuing to hang in there. And I think that you know maybe within the next you know five or ten years we could uh, see that that kind of vision that you had, Stan. Twenty five churches realized, and, and maybe even more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We, we sense that God is on the move. We sense that um, we're in this uh, this forward momentum at the moment. Yeah. And it's not just Marnie and me, but there's uh, you know our core group, um, yeah. the, not only the leaders, but even the, the just the people in the church are are sensing this this you know this thing that God wants to do something more. Yeah. And He's on the move on so many different fronts. You know, we can't we can't even keep up with what yeah. God's doing. Yeah, and I was I was talking to a guy this weekend that you know, and he was telling me that um, on a fairly regular basis, you're meeting together with some pastors. Or they're not Calvary Chapel pastors, but they're they're evangelical, they're Bible believing pastors. You guys are getting together, you're praying, and that's huge too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I I try to make something like that happen for a lot of years. Yeah. And it just never got any traction. And then all of a sudden, just two years ago, I get a phone call from this guy who wants to meet me, meet us. Yeah. And um, it, it was just presented, you know, on our lap. And now I'm meeting every every other month with a group of about seven guys yeah. who are also hungry for, you know, the expositional teaching of the word. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. That's great, Marnie. Yes. You're you're so beautiful. You're very quiet. Would you <laughs> like to say a word or two? <laughs> to the congregation. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for their prayers, yes. for their faithfulness, because Absolutely. without having the body of Christ behind you fighting the spirit, spiritual things on a what for us in prayer, yeah. I don't know that we'd still be here. Yeah. It's yeah. it is a battle, like you yeah. said, it was hard ground. Yeah. And we are so thankful, and I just want to encourage the church, you know. Be faithful in praying for all the works out here, yeah. which are much needed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and Stan, maybe a couple of uh, specifics. Um, you know, you you guys have been to the to the prayer meeting at right. Calvary, right. Mm -hmm. five o'clock on Sunday evenings, yeah. the missions prayer meeting. But you know, we have a lot of different things going on, and get information out to um, the different groups that are praying. And of course, 
the congregations watching our conversation right here. So, what are, what are a couple of things at the kind of top of the priority list for prayer for now? Uh, for now, for uh, <clears throat> for both churches, is that we uh, remain focused on the Great Commission, and that is the making of disciples. Uh, that's been uh, the thrust from the beginning, and we're seeing the fruit of it now after all these years. Yeah. And just that we'll remain focused on making disciples that God would give us, um, you know, um, I think uh, Jesus calls them um, men or persons of peace, you know, in yeah. which we could um, invest so that they will become disciples who make disciples. And um, yeah. so just really our focus on, on discipleship um, and that um, God will just add to that number, um, you know, that we could, we could, we could work sure. with. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, All right. Well, it's awesome. <laughs> We're excited. Yeah. And uh, thanks for taking a few minutes out. And um, so you heard it right from these guys. Let's keep them in prayer and continue to believe God for good things uh, in the days ahead for the Netherlands. So thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right.